Hi everyone. So before we get started writing some actual code, I just want to create a data source and show you exactly what happens with the database file when you add the data source to your application. So I'm in a brand new application and I'm going to create a new data source. And this is the usual routine that we go through at this point. Okay, so I'll create a new connection here. And I have a database sitting on my desktop, actually. It's called, what is it called? Cakes.accdb. So I'm going to choose that one. Okay. And here we go. Okay, so now when I click Next, we get this message. And I mean, the short answer to this is always say yes. Just say yes every time. But I really want to explain why we're saying yes and what happens when we do. So... There, there are two reasons why we say yes, and one is that that database is on my desktop. I would like it in my project folder, so everything is nice and contained in one folder that has my project and the database and all the pictures. It should, it should all be contained. The database, in this case, doesn't need to be sitting out there on the desktop. So that's part one of saying yes. Part two of saying yes, I'd like to demo with another application, a, a finished application in this case. So I'm just going to get out of here. Oh, I thought it had been, I thought I had an open solution here. Sorry about that. Let me... This is the finished version. Okay, so let me, um, I'm just going to run this and add a new cake. Okay, so here I am. I'm going to go ahead and add a new cake. And I will, this is going to be a Hello Kitty cake. And we'll say it costs $20 and it takes five days to make. And maybe I'll add a picture, too. And let's see here. Okay, there it is. And I'm going to save that. Okay, so now it's saved. And let's look at the actual database. And this will open up another discussion because we actually have two databases to look at in this folder. So this is like kind of the main project folder. And I want you to take note, we have a CAKES database here at this level, okay? And then I'm going to go into the bin debug folder. And we also have one here. This is significant. If I open this one, Recall that the debug folder is like your working directory for a project. So I'm going to open up this database and look in the table. Okay, and there's the Hello Kitty cake with all the data in place. So, fine. All right, good. Um, everything's working as expected. I'm going to go up to this level here and look in this database because we have two copies here. There is no Hello Kitty cake. So this is an important point. We have um, this database here, kind of at a higher folder, folder level, and then we have the one buried down in the debug folder. The debug folder is the one that your program is interacting with. That database is the one that your program is actually changing and editing as you're testing. At this level, this one is always like a pristine copy of the original database. Okay, so you have the pristine version at this level, and then you have the working database that gets edited and changed in the uh, debug folder. Okay, so now with that in mind, I'd like to go back to my project here, and then I'm just going to rebuild the solution. Okay, seems like a perfectly fine thing to do, and then I want to look at that working database again. Notice I'm in the debug folder. 
okay, Hello Kitty is gone. So this is what happens. We, what we have is like a controlled testing environment. You run your project, you make changes to the database, maybe you add some garbage records, maybe you delete some records, and they get committed to that database in the debug folder. But then every time you rebuild the project, a, a clean copy is of the pristine database up a couple of levels is copied into the debug folder and overwrites that working database. And so you lose all of your changes. And it may seem like a bad thing, but that's actually a good thing because when you're testing, you want that, you maybe want that clean copy every time. If you're deleting a lot of records or adding a lot of garbage records, you don't want all that accumulating in your in your database and then eventually you're going to have just garbage. So this is a nice feature to kind of have that that fresh start every time. Now there is a way to turn that off if you want. Uh, I don't recommend it, but here I am in the Solution Explorer. If I click on the, the data, there's a database object in the Solution Explorer and it's the, the little cylinder there. You can see your database name and then um, this is the setting in the properties. Copy to output directory, copy always. That's talking about every time you rebuild or rerun your project, uh, it'll be, the, the, new, the clean copy is going to be copied into the debug. If you don't want to do that, you can just do, do not copy. And again, I don't recommend that necessarily. I mean, it depends on the situation, but certainly in class when we're testing, then it, it makes sense to just start clean every time with every, every run.